Diane from the United States, who takes LDN for fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, and Diane has been HIV positive for 26 years. Thank you for joining me, Diane. You're welcome. My pleasure. Could you tell me when you first started to become uh, unwell with your fibromyalgia and your chronic fatigue? Um, approximately 2008. Mm-hmm. And what were you noticing at that time? Um, I was having several issues. Um, <clears throat> primarily, though, I uh, had passed out of a diagnosed a single P here in the United States. It's an unexplained reason for blacking out. Um, and everything seemed to just go downhill from the day that I blacked out, fell, and hit my head. Um, <clears throat> and um, was I was put on uh, short-term disability so we could figure out what was happening to me. And in the course of um, seeing doctors, uh, I was diagnosed with the fibromyalgia. Mm-hmm. Um, and along with that, uh, unfortunately, a seizure disorder due to the fall and hitting my head. Um, so that started my medical journey. Uh, and so I had several issues that don't necessarily, the seizure disorder doesn't necessarily relate to the ledges now check them, but the fibromyalgia, the chronic fatigue, certainly do. Mm-hmm. So when I was diagnosed with the fibromyalgia, um, my doctor is very much a proponent of low-dose naltrexone, and he mentioned it to me, but I did not take, take the uh, advice because I was very concerned about everything that was happening to me. Mm-hmm. So he mentioned it to me a few times and let me be comfortable with my decision. And then I finally, after a few years, once I got everything else straightened out, um, and was concentrating solely on the fibromyalgia and the chronic fatigue, to perhaps give it a try. All right. And, um, yes, so um, the winter of 2000, uh, 2012, December of 2012, I started my first trial of low-dose naltrexone. Mm-hmm. And when you first started, did you notice any introductory side effects? Well, uh, I have to say I immediately felt uh, a lot more energy and felt better uh, within a couple of days. Um, side effects, uh, after a, a week or so, I, or that first week, I noticed vivid dreaming and insomnia. Mm-hmm. So uh, I spoke to my doctor about it, and he suggested that I um, just the dust adjust the dose on my own, kind of play around with it and and see what would work for me. But unfortunately, at the same time, um, I got very sick with a virus that was going around. Members of my family got it. And um, I just became concerned about my immune system getting so sick with this virus that I stopped the low-dose naltrexone. Right. Um, well, when I when you get very sick like that, and I didn't bounce back from it where my family members did. I was sick for about six weeks. With the HIV, even though I have a very healthy immune system, uh, and I didn't fully understand what the LDN was doing for me, I stopped it because... I just wanted to get better again. Um, Mm -hmm. If you ask me today, would I stop it? I would say no. But I didn't know enough back then um, what the the LDN was was actually doing for me. But then it happened again two more times, and it was coincidental. So I stopped the LDN and was off it for several months. I started again, 
and I got sick again. And I even um, reached out to the Yahoo group and posted on there, if anybody ever, you know, uh, with just a side effect where you would get this upper respiratory lung, lung type of uh, infection. And everybody said, no, that's not normal. You know, nobody had experienced that. So I was concerned that something might be going on with me. So it just seemed that every time I took it, I got sick, and then when I went off it, I got better. It was purely coincidental. Mm-hmm. It was just a bad year. There were a lot of, uh, the weather and was crazy, and there were a lot of germs going around. And so I just got sick a lot, which is not normal for me that year. So moving forward, um, in the last last six months or so, I started with the LVN again, and I've been on it on a consistent basis. And it's been working very well for me. Fantastic. So what would you say now your quality of life is like? Um, I would say that taking the LDN has given me back a good portion of my life. Um, Prior to the LDN, The fatigue and the uh, body aches and pains uh, were so debilitating that I didn't do a whole lot. Mm -hmm. Now, with the LVN, um, I feel wonderful. Um, And even though I might feel a little achy, uh, I still, it allows me to go out and exercise. Um, I like to walk a mile or two. I take yoga classes a couple of times a week, none of which I did before the low-dose Um And socially, I'm more open to going out and doing things, being able to um, meet commitments, which was something that I couldn't do prior to the LDN. Um, fibromyalgia also comes with something called fibro fog, where you have cognitive dysfunctions and the inability to concentrate or, for me specifically, organize thoughts and organize tasks to get things done. With the LDN, that fibro fog lifted. And I was able to see my way through the day and say, okay, this morning I need to do this and this. And then this afternoon I'm going to do this and that. Uh, and to sit in the exercise, which is so critically important. To me, the LDN allowing me to exercise, that alone changed my life completely. And then it just gets better from there. Well, that's amazing. Thank you very much for sharing your experience with us.